one. In this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to take apart and assemble the V-Cube 4. So you need to put your finger in like that, and that may be a bit tough to do if your cube is really tight. And another thing you can do is unscrew the screws with um, a screwdriver. That might make it a little bit easier. There we go. Alright, with that loose, that can come off. And don't lose the screw, you'll need that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, um, yeah. So this is what the core looks like, and um, these things do go into the middle, you know. And to keep the internal mechanism in alignment, um, they put these bumps on it, you know. And that's what keeps the inner mechanism in alignment. So, yeah. And, um, if you want un to unscrew all of these, um, you can do so, but, um, that is, um, optional. And these things come off like this. And, um, another thing is with the core, these things can only go on one way with this. That's to ensure that the bumps don't go, don't go on wrong, which would cause a big lockup. So, there. So, um, I'll leave that off for now. I'll put it on later. Um, you need to sort out, um, all eight of the corners, because we need to put those together in their solid positions. Everything else can be random, but if these are random, there's, um, a 66% chance that, um, the cube is going to be unsolvable. So, as, but as long as you have the corners right, you're going to be fine. So, there. Okay, um, so we're going to be doing this in ace by corner sections. So, yeah. Let it begin. So we're going to do this in corner sections, like I said. And um, we're going to be putting them in like this. And it's nice to put these small bumps on it to hold these up there, which makes um, it a little bit easier to assemble. So just stick it in like this. And this thing can go up so that it'll be easier. <sighs> Alright, there we go. So, um, there. Now do that on an adjacent side. There we go. Okay, um, so, um, we're going to start building up with these pieces, and, um, one thing is, um, you need to be careful with these bumps, so, but I don't have them here, but I'll show you what to do, um, when I get to that. So, you want to start stacking everything up. Take a corner. And if you're doing the rest of them, make sure that the corners are again solved. Okay. Whew, like that. Okay, this might be a little bit tricky, but take the small inner piece, put that in. Take the larger inner piece. Ugh, there we go. Now take the small inner piece. Again, and be careful not to let it like whoa move back like that. There. Okay, so there we go. We got it all assembled on one corner section. Okay, so um continue to do this um same process for the other eight corner sections, and I'll get back to you there. Make sure your corners are solved. If you look at the two colors that this one shares on this side, find the other corner that shares those two colors as well. And it's this one right here. You can stick it in. Okay, now when you get to these um bumps, you, you need to, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but you need to kind of like snap it in, you know, so that it'll go in. And um, another way you could do it is like um twist it in, because these bumps don't move at all. You could like um have it like slide in like this. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but it's worth it. So, yeah. Okay, I'll get back to you later. What I mean right here by snapping it over these bumps. So, you want to like, get it in, you know, really good like this, and then push it down. It should snap into place just like that. 
Okay, um, if you took off the, um, center to, um, be able to, um, take this apart a little easier, um, we're going to put it back on right now, and you do not want to put it as tight as it was, although we'll be tightening it later. So, um, put it in. Just tight enough that it'll stay on, you know. There we go. So, um... As you're assembling it, make sure it's um, not too tight that you can't get a piece in and not too loose that it's just going to fall apart. Alright, continue doing that till you are on the last corner section. The note is um, with these bumps on the last layer, um, you want to try to avoid having to do that on the last corner section because it could be pretty hard to do it on the last corner section and it's a lot easier to do it right now. So, um, yeah, just um, get all the corner sections with these bumps on it, you know. If that's <clears throat> not possible, then um, what you're going to have to probably do is um, do in the, in, the, in the areas of it that have the bumps first. Alright, there you go. Continue working. This last corner in, put it in like this first, and then put this edge in. And remember, make sure it's solved. Just keep it over, and put this edge in. There. Now I put the small inner pieces um, in like this. So I get them in so that I'm. See if you like hold the corner still in place, as if the edges and centers are around it, it'll snap in like that, and then you just turn it into that. Take the other one, do that same thing. Okay, now um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to put these um, on like this, stack up with the, them like a standard 4 by 4 section, and um, yeah, and since we um, loosened that screw, it'll be um, a little bit easier, that is if you did do that. And another note is, if um, you're over the bump, like right here, you can always turn it to the side, you know, to another side that doesn't have the bump. That works as well. So I get it in. Now finally the last edge piece goes in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, and um, since I did loosen this one up a little bit. And you want to make sure the screws are down far enough so that it doesn't like scrape the top. So let's see. Let's see. Yeah. And don't screw it so tight that it, it, it won't turn at all. But that's like almost as far as it'll go down. It still turns really nice. Yeah. And another note is, if um, it's really tight, it'll prevent lockups on the middle layers. So yeah, all you need to do is solve it, and yeah, make sure your corners are solved. And yeah, this concludes the tutorial.